hello everyone welcome back to my kitchen in this video i'll be showing you how to preserve yam and ogo if you buy a lot of them if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and to my returning subscribers i really appreciate you thank you very much and thanks for coming back now let's get on with the business so these are the yams I bought from London in my last London shopping spree. <laughs> when I went to Africa market to buy the food items I bought. If you haven't watched the video, I will just put the link up there so you can watch the video. So it took me time to do this and you can see the yam is already about to spoil. And that's why I'll be rescuing it now so they don't all completely spoil. I'll be cutting this yam into different shapes depending on what I'll be using them for. I'll be cutting some for white yam, some for yam porridge or yam with beans or vegetables. And I'll be cutting some for fries, yam chips. So this particular shape is for white yam. Just to boil white yam. You can see how bad it is already about to go or how bad it is going already. So if I had left it for like maybe two or three more days, I bet you it won't be nice again to eat. So thank God I'm doing this now. You can still see it. So I'll be cutting this one into 10 slices for my yam fries or yam chips. Whenever you're cutting yam, ensure you have enough water in your bowl. If not, it will turn brown. You can see this and one this that has enough water covering really okay. it. It's still very you white. Can cut it bigger but or this smaller. one, because there wasn't enough water covering it, it turned brown. So ensure you have enough water in the bowl or you have enough water covering the yam when you are cutting to avoid any form of oxidation. So I'm cutting this one into cubes. I'll be using them for maybe yam porridge or beans and yam or yam and vegetables. I'm done cutting and I'll move over to washing. You can wash as many times as you want. And also wash into a, a sieve so that the water will drain before you put it in the freezer.
So I'm done washing and these are all the shapes I cut them into. Ground, cubes and stripes. So in a food bag or in any bag you have at all, you can put them into portions as much as you can finish at one sitting. Remember, if you bring them out of the freezer, don't take them back to avoid any kind of microorganisms or any kind of bacteria from growing. Just put as much as you can finish in one bag before putting in the freezer. Once you bring them out, finish them. Or you can cook them. You can cook everything. If you can finish, then put them back in the fridge. So these are all the yams I got from the tubers. So I'll move over to the vegetables, the ogre leaf. I, I, it took me about five days to do this as well. And funny enough, the vegetable was still fresh. So, but I put this in the fridge for that five days. So if you're using it for like maybe in the next one week, you can leave it in the fridge. But if you'll be using it like in a few months, you have to pick them and put them in the freezer. So first of all, I'll pick the, the ogo from the stalk. When I'm done, I will wash. I will begin to wash them. If you have a bigger bowl, please use a bigger bowl for this process. But because my bigger bowl was busy at this point, I had to use a smaller one. Then I'll wash with salt. After adding salt to this, I allowed it to soak for a little while before rinsing them off. And rinse carefully because of sand. You can see the sand that I got from it. So I'm going to wash it again to ensure there are no sands left. So these are the portions I put them into. 
and i got six bags so the best temperature to put this in the freezer is between minus two degrees and minus five degrees centigrade please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't see you in the next video